Yogi. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Once again, I am playing Planets. There is no progress on this stage in the last part, but I didn't really have enough time to try the stage, or I should say, play the stage in the last part. So let's just keep going at it in this part until we do it. That's all you can do for this stage. Angle it right, dang it! No, 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 no! Oh, so close. I, I ricochet off the back of the goal, just like the backboard of a basketball net. Or basketball hoop, excuse me. And, well, I guess you could say uh, the backboard of a basketball hoop. So, yeah, it's not, it's not actually the hoop that I'm thinking of. It's the backboard that ricocheted me. Come on, baby. And, 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 and. Oh, so close. So, so close. I'm going to get it eventually. Don't you worry. No matter how many tries it'll take me, I'll get it. And since I have so many lives left over, uh, I don't think I will get a game over this time around, because the first time I played through these on camera, I got a game over, but that might have been because, oh shoot, I don't want to get that back goal there, I went too far on my bones. Anyway, the first time I played through these stages on camera, I was really burnt out of commentary, and it, I just didn't find it all that appealing to watch, and I, I don't even know why I put out those parts to begin with. I guess just so I could put out some parts, because I didn't feel like redoing these things at the time. Oh, shoot! And now I'm kind of Well, I shouldn't say I'm regretting it, because I would have to redo these anyway. So I'd have to play through these stages again, but eh. Technically, I don't have to play through the stages, but I'm the walkthrough guy, and I want to make my walkthroughs the best they possibly can with what I've got. So that's why I'm uh, redoing these. Just like uh, part of my perfection side. Come on, land, land it, land it. Yes, yes. Oh, God, that time. Goal. No, not this one. Anything but this one. This is probably the hardest stage I've ever played in Monkey Ball. I never played the uh, Super Monkey Ball One extra stages or master stages, so I can't say. But this is definitely the hardest Monkey Ball stage I've ever played. Um, when you get the further you go down, further you go, go down, the harder it is to get in the. Go oh my God! I actually did it. First try. Okay. It didn't even cut the goal tape. I'm I'm taking that as a win. I don't care. <laughs> did you see? It didn't even cut the goal tape. Oh my God! Uh, that was driving me crazy. <sighs> okay. This is sliced cheese. Uh, the object is just to go through those holes. This one is really quite easy if you have some good timing. Uh, like that first one, really easy. The second one's a bit harder because it's spinning faster. Watch for a hole to go through and go through it like that, and there you go. Right in the goal. No problem whatsoever. Number six is seesaws. This one's all about the rhythm because these are gradually ascending as you go, so you have to kind of like control your speed and pass yourself over, whoops, <laughs> pass yourself over to each seesaw, but you need to have enough speed to be able to, conti to, to continue moving forward, so like pass over like that, oh, pass over, pass over, go, 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 oh, I didn't get it high enough, but that's basically the idea that you're looking for, is something like that, and you always want to pass over, like, to the opposite side so you can easily transfer yourself over to the next platform if you can um, because otherwise you're going to be moving yourself over to the next platform really quickly and that might not work out too well for your timing. Oh, synchronize. This is the one where the camera started to mess up on. I'm going to be trying to go inside the blue goal, not the green one. If I get the green one, I'm going to cry. I seriously will. Um, because that'll make me skip a couple stages and I'll have to edit them in or something. Oops! I, did, I should also mention, do not grab the banana, otherwise it's easy to lose track of where those things are. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go like this. <laughs> just like that, yeah. I'm just gonna try and make a beeline for it right at the start and... Oh, so close! I think I took that turn a little bit too wide, but that's okay. Oh, no, I didn't want to get the banana. Screw it, I'll take a life. Oh, I'll take my own life. Goodbye, cruel world. I got 60 more of them to keep going. That's the awesome thing about video games. You can commit suicide when you're feeling emo and still live to tell about it. Oh my god, I almost went in the green goal accidentally. Oh, I would have cried so much. If I do do that, 
what I'll do is I will try and there we go. Got it that time. What I will do is um, play through the stages in practice mode and um, just edit them in as normal stages, like like they are a part of this walkthrough. Um, this one is called Helix. This one you also could, you also couldn't see very well because of the camera messing up. It was. The camera started losing its focus. It had a massive black line on the screen. So I, I assure you that these parts are going to be of a much higher quality than they were before. Um, uh, this one is very tedious and very long, but it's not very hard. Um, if you ever feel yourself going towards the center, like towards the left, uh, just increase your speed to keep going forward. Oh shoot, I let myself go there, my bad. Um, but never go too fast, otherwise you're just going to fly right off the right side, and you obviously don't want that to happen either. Um, if, you should e <laughs> if you should ever fall off at any point, don't think you're going to recover. Because the goal is actually on a straightaway, completely away from these three loops. Uh, it goes around three times, 360, and then it goes straight over to the goal. So that goal is nowhere near below you. So you really do have to take these, I mean, you really do have to take this the whole long way through this place. Um, this might be a place that I'll be doing some cuts um, for the sheer fact that, oh shoot, maybe, oh, maybe I could take a shortcut over there. That's possible to take a shortcut, is right down there, but you got to really stick your landing if that's even possible, because this is, this is angled right from the start and all the way down through, so... Yeah, and you can't go too slow either. Um, if you'll notice I'm being really, really impatient with this, that's because you can't go too slow with it. As, as I just said there, I'm just kind of like acting stupid now. Or I should say I'm being stupid. Because when you go too slow, you'll, you'll easily make it. Because this isn't very hard to keep up. But the problem is that since this is so long, you're going to run out of time long before you get down to the bottom unless you keep your speed up. So, uh, keep a steady rhythm, adjust very, very slightly as you go, like you'll notice on the map there. Yes, that is me making very slight adjustments as I'm going around. This is all about feel, and oh, I got 10 seconds to go. Please make it, please make it, this is the final run. Please make it, please, 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 please. Oh, a little bit overshot. So yeah, there's the goal, that's how you do the stage. You just have to visualize at the end there, falling into the goal. Um, since the camera angle is really odd, oh shoot, this was really bad. Let's see if I can make it anyway. Oh, I didn't think so. That would have never happened at my speed. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is basically, basically Helix. Oh, can I make it count? No, okay. And that's all there is to the stage. Not really much to it. Um, it. It's a pretty boring stage, to be honest. But at the same time, it has a pretty high intensity level. If that makes any sense to you, because it's like, oh my god, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to fall. I, I want to keep going. I want, I must keep my rhythm. I, I got to keep my speed. I have to keep this up. And, and at the same time, it's like, well, this is kind of easy to keep this up. And then you kind of like lose concentration and fall off like that. Oh. And it's much harder to do when you're talking. <laughs> um, I could, I could definitely see people getting consistent on the stage, like getting consistently good at beating, beating the stage. But I don't have the patience, honestly, to keep practicing the stage until I get it. So I just play through the stages as I go, just for the heck of it. Um, no, I, I, I should mention this right now. No, I will not make a Super Monkey Ball one walkthrough anytime soon. Because I never unlock all the stages in that game. That game is even way too hard for even me. And I and I beat I want to be the guy. If you ever want to, if you ever heard that game, then again, I don't really feel that game is all that hard. Uh, it's just memorization. But yeah, if I don't have the patience to beat Super Monkey Ball One with that, yeah, and you know, and unlock all the stages, that's. I don't really... Oh, shoot, I lost my speed at the end there. I, I, I let go of the control stick. Yeah, I, I can't see myself ever unlocking the final master stages for Super Monkey Ball 2. I, I mean, Super Monkey Ball 1, excuse me. I've got Monkey Ball 2 on the mind, that mind dang it. Um, what, what I'm trying to say here is, after the expert stages, I've, I've gone through 
the beginner, the beginner extra, the intermediate and the intermediate extra, and the expert, but I have never ever gone through the expert extra stages because I have never been able to go through the expert stages without using a continue to be to even be able to access those stages. Oh shoot, I'm losing speed here. Um, so that's that's why I'm not probably not going to make a Super Monkey Ball 1 walkthrough anytime soon because I can't show off all the stages and that's kind of, you know, something that I like to do in my walkthroughs is that even if I don't, like, collect all the things along the way, I do like to show off all the stages and this was a completely failed run right off the start. Whoopsie doodle! So, yeah, that's why I'm, I'm so hesitant about doing Monkey Ball 1 because a bunch of people want me to do Monkey Ball 1. I hear you, I, it, it would be pretty fun to do, kind of, and, uh, you know, at least just to do the extra, I mean, the expert stages are up to, just to do up to the extra stages, oh shoot, I'm really losing concentration now, <laughs> holy crap, um, come on, focus now, just get the rhythm and then start talking, okay, there we go, I, as I was saying, I, I want to do a Monkey Ball 1, because I love the Monkey Ball series, um, the only game in the series that I thought was bad was Monkey Ball for the Game Boy Advance. That that game, because because you had the um, control pad to control it with, that was not good. Because, because you couldn't control yourself precisely. The idea was that you had the B button to, like, or I should say the E button, I think it was. I, I forgot. I haven't played it in a while because that game, in my opinion, really sucks. Do not buy it, people. Um... But you definitely should buy this one in Monkey Ball 1. And Banana Blitz, actually. And, uh, oh, losing speed, losing speed, losing speed. I, and uh, they are very good games, but not the Game Boy Advance one. That one is terrible, because you can't control your speed good enough to... Yes! Finally! Good enough to be able to um, beat some stages consistently. And it just gets really frustrating when you know you're dying because of controls and not your own... Um, you know, it's not like because you're messing up or anything like that. Um, this, this next one is called Dizzy System. The idea is to get over to this goal on here, and it is very dizzying! In case you didn't realize that, you can be thrown off the stage pretty easily, like that. Um, so your best bet is to wait, just like on Synchronize, wait for that goal to come around and then just make a jump for it. But I find it a lot more fun just to go like this, all over the place, just just to try and get inside the goal. But, uh, what your, your best bet is, because because you're bouncing, these things make you bounce, is to bounce yourself into the goal. Because you obviously can't walk yourself up there, or I should say walk yourself up there, roll yourself up there, because they're moving so fast that you won't be able to control um, where you're bouncing to. It's, it's just set up that way, it's just set up to... Uh, kind of throw you off like that, and that's that's what makes the stage really fun. Though it's really trippy with those uh, multicolored flooring like that, and somehow I made it in the goal. Would you look at that? Um, one more stage left. Um, I might have to do that in the next part. I'm not sure. 